Let me show you the WCS 7100 software from RT System for the new ICOM IC7100 D-Star and HF radio. The software, as installed, looks just like your radio did when it came from the factory. We have Band A, Band B, C, D, and E that are all empty. There were no memory channels in your radio when it first arrived. These bands are for organizing your channels, so you can break them up into groups of 99 rather than having a big lump of 500, which could be a little unruly. You can organize them however you want. You can mix HF, VHF, UHF together. You can mix D-Star and FM together, or you can segregate it. So it's most useful for you. Limit memories. They come pre-programmed for the radio, and while you can change them, you cannot leave them blank. These are used for scanning features of the radio. DR memories for D-Star. Call channels. Two for UHF, two for VHF. They cannot be left blank. They can be changed. VFOs and GPS memories. Yes, there are some GPS memories in the radio when it comes from the factory. Now we have settings, radio menu settings. This is the rest of your radio. These are all these menu items that you drill to and you turn knobs and push buttons and get them set just the way you want them. Here we easily do drop downs and set different options. We have common ones that control display, CW and RIDI options. And when I'm all finished setting this up, I save this file. I save this file. And then when I send it to the radio, all of this goes with the memory channels. And if I make a new memory channel file, all this goes with it without me having to touch it up again. Now, for the all important D-Star, we have your call sign list. We have my call sign, which is your call sign. This is what's going to broadcast on someone else's radio. Your four digit note. My name doesn't fit, but that's a great place to put your name. And then a text message. Most people use that name where they are, the radio, if they didn't put the radio up here. Lots of ways you can do it. We tell this OK. Now, we're back to memory channels and we're ready to program things up. This program has the D-Star calculator built in. The D-Star calculator is for making selections. I'm not making connections yet. I'm just selecting what will be set up in the channel that the radio will use to make the connections. Source repeater is where I am. What can I hit? So, I'm United States, Colorado. You'll see these are from all over the world. Colorado, Broomfield, this is my local repeater. The program's going to automatically set up my talk, my echo, status, and unlink. That's where I am. Now, where do I want to go? Call sign routing. I can fill this in with call signs of people that I want to contact. Link to repeaters. When I link to a repeater, anybody on the other end can key up and talk back to me. So I'm going to go to the Midwest, and that's 182 different repeaters. It's going to put in a lot of entries. Then I'm going to have link to reflectors and I'm going to selectively go to one Charlie. Let's go to this five Charlie in London. Let's go to 30 Charlie. Let's go to 30 Alpha for the fun of it. Let's go down here to 37 Charlie. And when I click apply, I have five here, I have 182 here. When I click apply, notice it completely filled band A. Remember I had 182 then it rolled over into band B for the rest of them. The program did that automatically. With this many, yes, they'll be a little clumsy to use on the radio. You might want to make some provisions, but they're all there, ready to be used, ready to go. These are your ones for your links. These are your ones for your repeaters. And back over here at the beginning, 
we have my talk channel, my echo channel, my information channel, and my unlink channel. Unlink so I can go on to the next place. Everything else is set up and ready to go for you. So let's go over here into band C and find another way we can do this. Many of you have another RT Systems programmer for another D-Star radio. I happen to have the 51 here and I have these D-Star channels set up and I want them in my 7100. I click on the channel number. That is the key to it, is the channel number. I'm going to take my DVAP too while I'm over here. I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to reduce this, reach right back here into the 7100, right click and paste. Those channels are all set up and ready to go just that easily. Now, this radio is known for its HF. How about some HF D star? I know that there's activity going on on 51.180. I want it to be digital. I want your call sign to be CQ, CQ, CQ. I know there's activity on 24938. Again, I want it digital. I hit the shift bar and the down arrow to make that change. And again, I want CQ, CQ, CQ. For the third one, I want 18.148, I want it digital, and I want CQ, 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 7.285, I'm just going to leave that for a minute, I want to show you something, I'm going to leave that one too, and 29.480, 21.380 and 14.280 and 3.880. Okay, now control C, control V, control C, control V, and it's been suggested that these are on filter 2, control C and control V. And just that easily I change those columns one at the time. This is a group that's on the air. You can find the details in the knowledge base at rtsystems.com. You'll find times and dates and how long they are where calling so you can join the fun here on HFD Star. Then when I'm ready, file, save as I see 7100 first file. If you have several of the RT Systems programmers, I would recommend that you start your file names with the name of the radio. That way, when you have several files open, you can see easily on the tabs what radio it's for. You can always see it up here in the top bar, but now you can see it right here on the tab this one's for the IC7100. One next to it is for the 51. The one next to it is for the FT8800 or whatever else you have entered. So now we communications and send data to and tell it OK. And they talk to each other and everything goes to the radio. Everything's set up. It's organized the way you want it. And when this process finishes in the radio, ready for you to disconnect from the computer, to key up, and to enjoy D-Star.